from Jack, a uh, business development manager from uh, CGA, and we have uh, Wang Tai Lam, assistant vice president and branch manager of HSBC, Colin Hawker, uh, managers of TD Insurance Launch Relax, um, Henry Kong, director, uh, district uh, vice president of TD Bank, uh, Hao Shen. Uh, president of CPAC and Education Foundation of CPAC. John Mann, Director of Asian Banking of RPC. Adrian Chung, Director Asian Market of uh, BMO and Wilbur Lai, Gala Event Co-Chair, Vice President of uh, CPAC. And also, we do have uh, uh, other honor guests at the, uh, at the audience. We do have um, Samantha LaPlante from uh, TV Insurance, Launch Malax. And we have a representative from uh, Town of Markham, uh, Sandra Tam. And also, we have.
supporting us all along to make our event possible. I would like to mention TD Canada Trust, uh, Eric Kwong, thank you. And uh, TD Canada Trust again is the special sponsor uh, for this year. And also TD Insurance, or Monex, we have uh, uh, Colin and uh, Samantha here. I remember they were here last year, right? Thank you. And also we have uh, two, a few gold sponsors. Bimo, thank you very much uh, for coming. And SHBC, and Mr. Lam, <laughs> in Chinese Lin, right? Uh, thank you. And also we have CGA Ontario and, uh, and uh, Carmen is here. Uh, as a matter of fact, the CEO of Doug Brooks were, is our co-chair as well. Um, and also we have the silver sponsor, Carla Markham from Sandra here. Thank you all very much. And uh, our uh, award gala started back in 1999. And uh, so far, we have uh, about 100 students uh, who have received the honor <coughs> and uh, this year we have uh, altogether 165 applicants uh, in the competing uh, in three categories of uh, scholarships, bursaries and awards <coughs> and we have uh, applicants from all of the places including Ontario of course, uh, BC, Alberta and we even have uh, applicants from the states but of course they are Canadian residents. So far, we haven't opened our you know, application to, to outside of Canada yet. I mean, the, the, the residents of the other countries yet. Maybe in the future. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this year, we have uh, five scholarships to be awarded to universities and six awards to students from grade 10 to 12. And we also have six bursaries. Uh, uh, I realize that uh, sometimes you know the media always say you, you know it is a Chinese event. You know in the Chinese community, so always uh, Chinese is something that they think it's a good way of communication. So I will switch uh, to Chinese a little bit. But uh, <coughs> all right, uh, 我仅代表。加拿大中国专业人士协会和教育基金会向各位表示真诚的欢迎啊！感谢大家能够参与二零零八年教育基金会慈善晚会啊的这个颁奖，呃，慈善晚宴这个新闻发布会。首先呢，我感谢媒体啊，赞助商以及合作伙伴以来对我们呃大力的支持啊，因为没有你们的支持，我们就无法取得这么大的成功。在这里，我特别要鸣谢本次活动的全程。呃，支持媒体《明报》《世界日报》《现代日报》《家中时报》《新新生活》和《环球华报》。那么，教育基金会这个慈善晚宴在著作企业机构的这个慷慨资助下呢，我们我们主要的这个这个目的，也就是鼓励并支持那些优秀的高中啊高中生和大学生顺利完成他们的学业。在此呢，我请允许我向各位呃那个。感谢啊，那、嗯、个手机赞助商 T D， 啊啊 T D Canada Trust， 特别赞助商 T D， 啊 Insurance Marsh m o n e 金牌赞助商啊，金克银行和汇丰银行，以及加拿大注册会计师，呃，安省加拿大注册会计师协会和银牌赞助商万里石。呃，西泰教育基金会呢，创立于一九九九年。那么，迄今为止有一百多位学生呢，都获得了这项荣誉。那么，重视教学，大家都知道啊，培养下一代是我们华人的优秀传、呃、优良传统。那么，融入社会，在授予这个社会，服务于最后到服务于这个社会，社会更是成为了我们西泰教育基金会努力的方向。我们西泰教育基金会是加拿大联邦注册的这个慈善机构。一直以培养华人下一代作为我们的责任，勉励那些受罪的学生回报社区。啊、呃，经过这么几年的发展
健康发展，那我们基金会呢日益扩大，今年有一百六十名申请者缴足三个类别的奖学金和助学金，他们不仅来自安大略省。啊，呃 ，B C 省，呃，波塔省，甚至还有来自美国的申请者。那么最重要的评委在所有申请当中当中呢，选出了两位最优秀的学生，授予至尊奖学金；五名大学生和六名高中生被授予奖学金。那么，教育基金会呢还会颁发六个助学金，主要也就是帮助那些经济上啊、呃、需要，呃，有这个需要的那些，但是呢。学习成绩和公益事业都很表现都很突出的那些学学生。那么今年我们的这个奖学金颁奖晚会在将在这个十二月七号啊举行。通过一都一念的这个一都一年一度的这个颁奖晚宴呢，我们在鼓励帮助那些优秀的学生呢完成学业的同时，也在呼吁全社会关注啊，希望得到更多的社会团体。以及个人的赞助和帮助，呃，也请大家一如既往的支持我们。啊，现在呢，呃，请允许我介绍本次颁奖慈善晚会的首席赞助商 TD Canada Trust Henry Kong 先生为我们讲解。Thank you, Howard, and all the honored guests. So good day, everyone. So on behalf of TD Canada Trust, I'm delighted to join all of you today to help kick off this year's Chinese Professional Association of Canada's 2008 Award Gala. I've been involved with this event, and more so last year. I had the honor to co-chair with uh, Christine and Robert last year. So I really know just how worthwhile the function is. And this year, we have more than 160 young people applying for the CPAC Awards. And the awards will be handed out to close to 15, 16 young talents. And I, judging from the name, there is even one that's not from the Chinese community. So it's really good that we can expand to the, to the, uh, to the non-Chinese immigrants uh, community as well. At TD Canada Trust, we know that when you have a business of our size, we can only be as healthy as the communities in which we live and work. So one of the ways we can do that is by investing in and recognizing the young people of our communities now helping to ensure the success of Canada in the future. So we are once again very thrilled to partner with CPAC in the annual gala celebration, supporting the association's education foundation. So I look forward to this year's gala. I know how capable the co-chairs are, and I'm sure it's going to be another memorable occasion for all to celebrate the past year's achievements, achievements while at the same time helping to lay the foundation for the for the coming, coming year's activities. So I would really encourage you all to take part in this splendid event and help celebrate the young talent of today and raising our future together tomorrow. So thank you and see you all at the gala in December. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Beng, BMO Bank Montreal is, uh, is very proud uh, to be a sponsor of uh, the Chinese Professional Association of Canada, uh, the 2008 Award Gala. And the sponsor of the CPAT and BMO Diversity Scholarship at this meaningful event. So the gala gives an uh, opportunity to recognize the academic achievements and community involvement of the Canadian youth. And we know that since uh, 1999, CPAT has uh, definitely made a significant contribution to helping uh, students pursue their education goals and achieve success. Uh, education has been a core focus of BMO's uh, charitable giving program. BMO has uh, long been recognized as a leader in learning, <coughs> we know the 
important roles education plays within our company and in the society. At BMO Bank Montreal, we enlarge and value the contributions that cultural diversity brings to, to our country and our communities. And we are deeply passionate and committed to working with the community association like CPES uh, to help multicultural uh, customer and new Canadian build a better life here in Canada. So on behalf of BMO Bank Montreal, we applaud the effort of CPES for this <coughs> continuous support of Canadian youth and promote the professional uh, development among new Canadians. And we are proud to be a partner uh, with fellow sponsors just to make education more accessible. Um, our best wishes goes to CPES uh, for another successful and uh, memorable event. And I hope in the next year, we'll see you again. Thank you. And we'd like to have uh, Mr. Colin Hawker. Thank you. Good afternoon. It's certainly an honor to, uh, to be here today and uh, welcome again to the media and uh, special guests here. Uh, TD Insurance Melange Monix is proud to be associated with the 2008 CPAC Gala Awards Dinner. The Education Foundation of CPAC does a tremendous work in assisting and grooming talent within the community. The provision of scholarships and bursaries are an important aspect of the support as it will help these individuals to develop to their full potential. TD Insurance Melosh Monix is once again proud to partner with the Education Foundation of CPAC to help achieve this goal. We're certainly looking forward to a great 2008 gala. Thank you. Hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, actually, you know, I was being invited and say, hey, you know, can you attend the press conference? I said, yes. Uh, however, I don't know whether, you know, I have to come out and say something. But, you know, I, I, I would like to say thank you, uh, CPAC and uh, President Chen for, for that opportunity. We have been a partnership with CPAC for throughout the years and uh, education always is one of the key focus that, you know, HSBC Bank Canada is going to support. Uh, recently, we have the Education Day, which is a very successful event, and we are very happy with this partnership continue with this uh, annual event to celebrate. So many scholarships was being presented to the, um, uh, like Henry said, uh, great tenants, or youth tenants, that we are going to support it. So I would like everyone uh, to come out together and have the celebration and to congratulate all the youth kids. And they are so, so proud to be uh, our next generation in the community. So thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm here on behalf of the Certified General Accountants of Ontario, who are the gold sponsors for the CPAC Award Gala. It is a privilege to be associated with CPAC, knowing that CPAC is striving to be a national voice and a representative of the Chinese Canadian community. CG Ontario looks forward to building a very strong relationship with CPAC and have carried out and supported collaborative initiatives. And we look forward to this as only the beginning of a very solid partnership. The Certified General of Canada of Ontario is an, is an affiliate of CGA Canada. It's a self-governing body which grants the exclusive right to the CGA designation. Now, through this award presentation, we do support recognition of outstanding academic achievements and community involvement with, uh, for post-secondary students in Canada. We do look forward to the 2008 uh, CPAC Award Gala. Thank you. Uh, and now I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Wilbert Lai to come up and introduce our event committee. Uh, welcome everybody. As you can see, uh, the uh, event committee actually we uh, appreciate this opportunity to work with uh, this year's partnership team. 
partnership team here include you can see professional organization like CGA, government like Town of Marka, corporate uh, reputable organization like a TD Monarch, a Royal Bank, which have, uh, SFBC, BMO, and all the banks you can see there. And of course, our media friend. A particular honor when Henry mentioned he, he was the co chair last year. And this year, uh, we have a new team. But uh, before I introduce the two very important people or another uh, organizing committee, I want to thank the selection committee, which include Henry Kong and John Mann, as well as our own Hugh uh, Zhao and uh, Inder Xu. They joined the internal, internal external former selection committee to select the candidate. And I'm really honored to introduce two of my really important partners, a co-chair team there. One is uh, Christine, Christine Shi. We talk, uh, Margaret is our Vice President of uh, Public Communication Communication and Public Relations. Margaret will talk to us about the detail of all those things. Margaret. Margaret, yeah. Thank you very much, Wilbur. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Margaret Yen, and uh, uh, the new VP for CPAC, but today is not about me. It's truly about this signature event of CPAC Award Gala 2008. And our President Howard and all those uh, uh, distinguished guests already mentioned about the importance of uh, awarding and congratulating these uh, talented youth uh, to congratulate about their achievement. So for this year's event, and uh, to make uh, the whole event successful, of course, uh, you know, for those award, um, you know, uh, recognition moment is important and very serious. And uh, this year, we are honored to have uh, for the confirmed guests, uh, Senator Vivian Boyd uh, is going to uh, join us, and uh, like she was here uh, last year as well for the event. And then we are going to be, um, uh, you know, uh, having uh, Minister the Honorable Michael Chen joining us, and Mayor of Markham Frank. Carpiti, that's how to pronounce his name. So Mayor of Markham is going to join us as well. Uh, we are going to have other MPs, MPPs, uh, both at the uh, federal level and uh, uh, provincial level. And, and yet to be confirmed is uh, Mr. Peter Kent on behalf of uh, the Harper government. Um, and the signature uh, performance of this year, uh, today, we are very uh, happy to have uh, Steve Lee, who is the, uh, uh, the winner for the uh, 2008 Singing Contest. Uh, uh, Steve Lee. Uh, and uh, uh, he will uh, share uh, some of his performance at the uh, uh, gala evening. And, uh, uh, we are going to have Ips Canada, uh, the, the, the children's choir, to lead us to sing the national anthem and, and perform. And we are also very delighted to have Olympic Stars Dance Academy, and by which we are going to witness uh, a world champion uh, doing the, the Latin and uh, international dance. And so uh, something different uh, this year versus the uh, previous years. Um, also, we, we are very delighted to have a, a tour East um, Toronto this time, providing us with one raffle ticket, which is a round trip either to Beijing or to Shanghai, from Toronto to and uh, from Beijing or Shanghai. And we are going to have silent auctions uh, together with the table prices, once again, uh, you know, given by those uh, sponsors. So the, the, the event will be uh, full of, uh, you know, uh, fun and uh, in the meantime uh, you know truly it's a moment to celebrate and because education is so important to every family's life to every young man and, and women's life and also to the society and uh, if we ask a lot of people like why you come to Canada the main reason or, or majority of the answer is for my children's education so this year is no different. We are uh, going together together to celebrate this uh, wonderful achievement by uh, all these young men and women. So um, you know, we.
we hope that uh, you know everyone can join us on December the seventh, two thousand and eight, at Hilton Suites. Um, six o'clock reception starts at seven o'clock. Uh, the dinner and uh, you know the award dinner would uh, officially start sharp this time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, I'll leave it uh, to the other um, two ladies. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret, and we're sure that this is going to be a fantastic event for uh, that December 7th evening. And uh, now this is a special time moment for, uh, for special donations from our RBC, and I would like to introduce Mr. John Yang to have a few words for us, please. You actually come to things, I think less than two more months, the year of the Oaks will be forthcoming. So there will be even the off market and it was something. <laughs> <laughs> and CPAC's uh, award night is December 7th. So I guess it would be a night to celebrate the year of the ox and then also the ox market. <laughs> Again, uh, it's my honor to represent RPC Foundation to pick up $5,000 check to CPAC. Uh, we are so proud to be able to support CPAC because it is a great organization. Over the past 14 years, CPAC has made significant contribution to new and old immigrants, to youth education, to a lot of uh, community events. And in fact, this donation is your continued support to show our respect for your contribution to the community. And it is the RBC value we place on the entire Chinese community. Jinawakando Thank <laughs> you. 